Hello, I'm going to show you how I hooked up the Alps four switch card navigation encoder key rocker to my 3D petted Garmin G1000 NXI for flight navigation simulation. So on the rocker, I can zoom in, zoom out. The bike can push the button down, and I can scroll up, push the button up. So, full functionality, scroll right, and scroll left. So, okay, so. So here's how I did it. So the manufacturer's schematic, a little hard to understand at first, but using this along with Huey Mech's schematic from his site, I was able to put the two together and make it work. So I used the uh, DuPont wires need 10 wires, 10 different colors, and basically when you're looking at the switch, you're looking from the top down, so you need to spot this black wire, the ground wire, first, and it's part of the chassis, so orientate the top until you can identify that black wire to connect. And this is ground, this is B, okay, this is A, this is D, and this is C. So, I've mapped out the color of the wires for the connection here, along with mapping it out same color wires for the schematic to connect to the Arduino here. One thing about the schematic here, this is the encoder part. This is a ground, I believe, and one was push. And then you have A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D for the connection. This here is not a wiring connector. It's a little small plastic nub, like if it was going to seat itself in some kind of housing. So that's just a small plastic pen. So going through and connecting each one of these to this schematic will give you 10 wires and then those 10 colored wires follow this in relationship to the letters and numbers here. And of course, these follow up here to the Adreno with the same following numbers. So once those wiring connections are made up, in the um, MobiFlight software, you're going to set up under the settings, under the module, you're going to set up all the joystick button selections. So there's joystick right, joystick left, joystick down, joystick up. And this was um, joystick um, encoder. And I've got it on 4041 and that's 
from the sheet 4041. Um, also, the joystick push is on pen 44. Forty-four, which is the green wire. If you take forty-four, I really got to follow it here. Forty-four. There you go. It's on six for the push, and five was to ground. So there's three wires to ground. You got five and nine and chassis ground. I wired all three of those to the Adreno ground here. So back over here, after the module you set it up, then you go through and you list each one here. So you'd have Joystick left, and you pick your board, the device from the module that we already named, joystick left, and on press, and I'm using Flight Sim 2020 Microsoft. Down here through the um, selection, I select joystick left, and it's on press now. You also want to go to on hold and set up for the same thing, joystick left, and set this to one millisecond. So it'll repeat. When you push this button to the side, it actually repeats. So that's what you want to do to set that up. And that's basically it. So yeah, I've 3D printed the case, the frame, I lasered the front pieces for the lighting. It's fully functional. I made the case. And yeah, it makes it a lot easier to use the box here then try to you know try to use the mouse and so yeah i got these plans healy mitt and you can download the 3d plans if you want you can view this online the schematic and um i'll provide the links to both of these you can get the um, four-way switch Amazon. Okay, well, that's how it goes, and uh, thank you for watching.